Okay, and welcome back. We're gonna do another video today. It's Mr. Johnson again here. And today we're gonna do two point perspective. So just like the last video, I'm using my makeshift ruler here. I just grabbed uh, this piece of wood from my garage, this little stick. Um, so any kind of straight edge you have will work. Um, and again, we're gonna have a vanishing point, a horizon line, just like the one point perspective. But with two point perspective, it's gonna be a little different. With one point perspective, we had vertical lines, straight up and down, and we had horizontal lines, left and right, and we had diagonal lines, which all went to the vanishing point. With this drawing, we are going to have um, vertical lines, but then every other line in the picture is going to go to the vanishing point. So there are the only horizontal line we're going to have is going to be the horizon line. No other horizontal lines in our picture. Okay. So first thing we're going to do, just like the last one, we are going to make the horizon line. And I'll repeat myself from the last video. If you make the horizon line high up on the picture, that's going to make it look like you're looking down on the buildings, bird's eye view. If you make it low on the paper, it's going to be worm's eye view. It's going to look like you're looking up at the picture and you won't be able to see the roofs of the building. If you have it up high, you'll be able to see the, the tops, the roof of the buildings, which is a little bit more challenging in two-point perspective. Okay. So the way that we start a two-point perspective video is a little different. I'm not going to start with a road. I start with a vertical line in the middle of my paper, and you can make it as tall as you want. I'm going to start it. So make, again, make sure your ruler is parallel to the sides of the paper, and just do a vertical line starting somewhere towards the bottom and going somewhere up towards the top. So there, I just made a vertical line in the center of my paper. Okay. Um, now, we're going to do, I, I didn't do the horizon line. I probably should have done this first, but again, you can make it high, low on the paper, whatever you want. But I'm going to make my horizon line very lightly, about in the middle of the paper. So we got the horizon line and we have a vertical line. We're going to start every building with a vertical line. Okay. This is going to be the corner of the building. With two point perspective, we're looking at the building from the, from the corner. On one point perspective, we were looking at the front of the buildings. So now we're going to do the road starting from the bottom of this line. So now we have two vanishing points. You can put them in a little bit. I'm going to put my vanishing points. These dots are going to be on the ends of the paper. Now you could put them off the paper. I could have my dots outside the paper or I could put them a little bit more inside, but I like to just for this purpose, for this drawing, I'm going to make them right on the end. So then we're going to draw a line. I'm going to line up the bottom of this vertical line that I just made with the vanishing point yeah. and I'm going to make a line going all the way to the vanishing point. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, then I am going, so this is going to be um, one side of the road. We're going to have two roads intersecting. Um, then I'm going to make another line from the vanishing point down to the bottom of the paper. So there's one road coming in. Then we're going to do the other one on the other side. Line it up, always line it up with the vanishing point. Try to make it about the same width as the other road. So here's, we have, we have two lines. Now we could make, I'm gonna, so I'm going along, I lined up my ruler along this line. I'm gonna continue this road across and then I'm gonna continue this road also across. So we have these cross streets going on. Later, um, I might add some lines and sidewalks and all that. Next step is we make a line going down from the top of this line down to the vanishing point. Now, you do not have to go all the way to the dot like I did just there. Uh, just like the last drawing, I didn't go all the way to the dot. So on this side, I'm lining up my corner of my building with the dot. This time I'm just going to go part way. See, I didn't go all the way to the dot because you don't really need to. Then you're going to make the sides of the building. You're going to add vertical lines for the side of the building. So from here down to the sidewalk, straight down. Remember to make it parallel to the sides of your paper. Try not to make it crooked. And then we can go back in and erase these extra lines. You can erase the lines going through the building, or you can just do that all at the end, erase the extra lines you don't need. I'm just doing it as we go. And there you have a building looking at it from the corner. Okay. Um, if you were going to do 
lines uh, or um, windows in the building. This time, all the lines for the windows have to go to whatever vanishing point is on that side. So the right side of the building, the lines will go to the right dot. On the left side, they'll go to the left dot. So let's do some windows in this building. Um, I'm just going to do rows of buildings this time. In the last video, I showed you how to make some individual win windows. It's the same concept. So here I'm just going to make one long... And that's the top of the window, that's the bottom of the window. The sides of the window have to be vertical, so parallel with the sides of the paper or the side of the building. And there we have one window. So I'm going to continue making windows going down. So you could just go in here, line, I have it lined up with a vanishing point. And there's the top of the window. There's the bottom of the window. And I'm going to continue to make these windows all the way down. So now as I go down, you can see that my the tops and bottoms of my windows are starting to angle down. I'm going to leave it at that for now. Then we can go in and make the sides of the windows. We want them to be parallel with the side of the building. And I missed one more line here for this one. Okay, create the sides of this window, and then we'll create the sides. See, I'm lining it up with my first window, so they're all even. And there we go, I have some windows. I left a, quite a big space in between those windows, but you get the idea. And then if we're going to do windows on the other side, we do the same thing. The top and bottoms of the windows would go over to this vanishing point. Now, I'm not spending a lot of time this time like I did on the last video, um, making all my windows and details because I already, because you should already know how to do that if you did the one point perspective. So if you haven't done that, you might want to go back and review that video. So there, I've got some windows. So I could make windows like this. I could make, I could break them up into individual windows. I could make it a glass building like I did in the last one where I just make lines. So all the lines on this side, of the left side of the building will go to the left vanishing point, the horizontal lines. All the lines on this side will go to the right vanishing point. So if I were to make a door over here, I'd make the side of the door with a vertical line, and then I'd make the top of the door go over to the corresponding vanishing point, the right vanishing point. See? And then this one would be vertical. There's a little door.